On to our next story now, it's the fourth week of coup in Myanmar and the junta is now strengthening its hold over the country which is currently gripped by widespread demonstrations. According to the latest information coming in, military's mouthpiece, the state-run television has announced that the junta could take action against media portals for using the word coup. The military has threatened to withdraw the licenses of such media organizations. Junta Chief General Min Ong Leng has given out a couple of justifications. He has said that the military has been following a democratic path until now, referring to the firing of rubber bullets on protesters. He stated that uh, it wanted to use a minimal force during the clashes because it considers human life important. Tens of thousands of protesters have started to gather on the streets of Myanmar again, carrying flags of the National League for democracy and roses. Massive crowds marched on the streets of Dawei. There have been no reports of confrontation or any clash between the police and protesters till now. <laughs> Hundreds of vehicles took part in a procession in Mandalay as a funeral was held for a protester who was killed during demonstrations. Horns bled and scores of people lined the streets, saluting a convoy of motorbikes and cars as they drove through the city. Earlier on Monday, the citizens of Myanmar had called for a general strike as a part of the massive civil disobedience campaign. The reports say that the movement, which the protesters called Spring Revolution, completely paralyzed and choked the businesses of government. It marked the largest protest in the history of Myanmar, with millions taking to the roads of Yangon, Mandalay and Naipaidor, even in the hot sun, to show disdain for the coup and perpetration of violence. While local shops and international chains, including Yum Brands, Inc's uh, KFC and Delivery Heroes Food Panda, announced closures. However, the military downplayed the intensity of the strike and said that it was just a rumor, as markets and shops were open throughout the day. Now, the protest continues to gain momentum even after the military has come forward to issue a thinly veiled threat to use lethal force if the protests continue. The world has its eyes on Myanmar. A rising number of global leaders have condemned the Myanmar military government for forcefully overthrowing the country's elected government and for its crackdown on the people of Myanmar expressing dissent against the military coup. Foreign ministers of the G7 countries have released a statement which firmly condemns Myanmar military attacks on protesters and urges them to exercise utmost restraint and respect human rights and international law. The group comprised Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Britain and the United States, as well as the European Union's Foreign Affairs representative. United Kingdom has also reacted. Britain's Foreign Office has summoned Kyozwar Min, Myanmar's ambassador to the UK. And yesterday, the UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab urged the UN Human Rights Council to tackle the alleged human rights violations in Myanmar. Rao called on the Burmese military to step aside and release the detained officials. After vowing firm action against Myanmar military, U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken has now announced sanctions against two more leaders of the Myanmar's junta. The United States has said that it was blocking any U.S. property and suspending the entry into the country of two members of the newly ruling State Administrative Council, General Mong Mong Kao, who uh, commands the Air Force, and Lieutenant General Mo Mayantun. Blinken has also warned further action against those who perpetrate violence. Likewise, nations are now seeking to impose sanctions directly on the members of the military junta in order to hold them accountable for the brutal crackdown. The European Union stands steady and uh, they are ready to impose sanctions on the officers responsible for the ouster of violence. EU Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell has called for a de-escalation of the current crisis.
Just seeing you all like to lose your body. Today we have decided a set of targeted measures with ministers in response to these events. When we took the political agreement to apply sanctions targeting the military responsible for the coup and the economic interest. All direct financial support from our development assistance to the government's reform programs is withheld. Meanwhile, after blocking Myanmar's military official page, Facebook has further stepped up their action against the coup. It has now taken down the pages of Myanmar's state-run television, which is the military's mouthpiece. The action was taken against the TV page a day after it issued a warning, threatening to take action against the anti-coup protesters. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.